Hi everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you five easy and super delicious and healthy salad dressing recipes. If you are new to the world of making your own homemade salad dressings or if you're used to buying store-bought or maybe if you're just looking for some new recipes to try out, then this video is definitely for you. All of these salad dressings are my personal go-tos. These are my personal favorites. I have used them for many years and they don't require a ton of ingredients, just a few pantry staples. All of the full recipe details can be found on my blog, so I will leave links below in the description box to each individual salad dressing recipe for you to go grab, and let's get started. The first recipe is a classic balsamic vinaigrette with Dijon mustard being the star in this recipe. This is a great recipe to make if you're new to making your own salad dressings because it's only three ingredients and it is so good. So you're gonna start by measuring and mixing together balsamic vinegar and Dijon mustard. Then you're gonna gradually whisk in olive oil. Adding the oil in slowly helps the oil and the vinegar to emulsify smoothly so you're avoiding separation and getting a creamy end product. I love this dressing with spring mix or a dark leafy green salad or as a marinade even for red meat. The next recipe is my creamy apple cider vinegar and basil dressing, which has been a go-to of mine for years because it's a classic oil and vinegar combo, but with some extra fun additions. So start by measuring and mixing together your apple cider vinegar, maple syrup, some dried basil, and just like the balsamic vinaigrette, you'll wanna slowly integrate the oil to help it blend together smoothly and to prevent separation. You can enjoy this dressing just like this as more of a thinner vinaigrette or you can take it up another level and make it extra creamy and rich by adding tahini, which is sesame seed butter. I love doing this. Uh, it really just adds a really nice extra kind of nutty flavor. Then you can just store it in a jar to last a few weeks in the refrigerator. This dressing is my absolute favorite paired with crunchy romaine or kind of a light, fresh veggie salad or even a quinoa salad. It pairs really nicely with quinoa. The next dressing also doubles as the most delicious sauce and that is my ginger sesame dressing. I love this for stir fries and noodle bowls. It is such a good flavor combo. So you're gonna start by mixing together apple cider vinegar, maple syrup, coconut aminos or soy sauce, some ginger powder, or you can use fresh minced ginger, whichever you would like to use. I often have powdered ginger on hand, so I'll often just use that. And then you'll want to combine it together with some toasted sesame oil, the absolute star in this recipe. Again, you can eat this just like this as a thinner vinaigrette, uh, but my favorite way to make it is with added sunflower seed butter or any other kind of unsweetened nut butter like almond butter or peanut butter. This rounds out the flavors really, really well, plus it makes it extra creamy. I love this with stir fries, with bell pepper, broccoli, carrot, or chicken. It's also great with some rice noodles or a big veggie salad. The next dressing is my lemony herb and hemp dressing, which also works really well as a dip, kind of like a herb or ranch style dip. Uh, but it's completely dairy free and it's really versatile. So you'll want to start by measuring out your hemp seeds and adding to a blender. I'm using a little Nutribullet here. Um, some fresh lemons. I love this lemon squeezer here. It filters out the seeds for you, so it's just super handy. Some apple cider vinegar, some water, a medjool date for some nice whole food sweetness, and some dried herbs. I like basil, oregano, parsley. Sometimes I'll use a little bit of dill, although dill can be a little bit overpowering sometimes. Uh, but you can use any of your favorite herbs. You can kind of get creative. Add in some salt and pepper and half a clove of garlic and then blend until smooth and you can store it in a jar for probably about a week. This makes a nice rich lemony dressing for your salads but like I mentioned I love it as a veggie dip with carrots, cucumber or broccoli, also great in wraps or sandwiches etc or you can use it in place of mayo. 
lastly, we have another classic and that is a sweet mustard style dressing. This is my maple mustard dressing and glaze. So you just need a couple of pantry basics. You're gonna to wanna to mix together apple cider vinegar, some maple syrup, some grainy mustard and Dijon mustard, and olive oil. Um, this makes a really quick and easy dressing for chicken salads or kale salads. And it's also fantastic as a glaze, like I mentioned, which actually usually what I will do is I'll omit the olive oil and I'll just stick to the mustards and the maple syrup so it's a little bit thicker as a glaze and it's great with salmon, um, baking that in the oven or with roasting chicken. It makes a really fun glaze as well or marinade. I love mustard, it's one of my favorite condiments and it just goes so nicely in salad dressings. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys give these recipes a try. Leave me a comment below with which one you think you wanna try first, or if you do end up trying them, leave me a comment and let me know how it goes. Don't forget to grab the full recipes on my blog. Again, links are below. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye.